Hello, my name is Derek Franklin and I'm an Applications Engineer here at GoEngineer. This quick tip video is to show you about a new feature that has been added in SOLIDWORKS 2013 for simulation known as incremental mesh. There are plenty of situations, especially in large assemblies, where you want to mesh components individually without having to mesh the whole assembly. Or, after meshing the model, you find you want to change the mesh on a couple of bodies, but don't need to remesh the entire model. Now, you are given that flexibility to remesh individual parts as needed using incremental mesh. To do this, just right click on the body and specify the new mesh setting. A message box pops up which asks us to click yes to continue meshing selected entities. Since that's what we want to do, we're going to click yes. And as you can see, the mesh is automatically updated on the selected component. Also, if we look over here in our study tree, we notice that a mesh constraint is automatically created. If you mesh some, but not all bodies of an assembly before you run the study, only the bodies with no mesh will be meshed. Also, when meshing fails for certain components, you can remesh only the failed components. The existing mesh for the rest of components remains intact. So, with incremental mesh, you are given more flexibility in remeshing individual parts, and this is very beneficial, as this can be a real time saver, especially on the calculation of larger models.